Hello and welcome to Teletact Gaming and RimWorld. Yes, I'm going to start up a new, uh, uh, start a new game, and it's going to be RimWorld. And this episode is most likely going to be called uh, Episode Zero because this is going to be the setup. Uh, not sure how long it's going to uh, take, but let's just get into it. I'm going to show you my mod list. Now, the core of the game, it's basically the game itself. I have mod, ma mod manager to manage the mods. I have quite a few mods, which I have subscribed to, but this is going to be as vanilla as possible, uh, but with a few mods. Uh, I'm using numbers to get well, all the stats and, and such in one place and one easy way of looking into who's good at what and so on. Color coded mood bar is, well, as the mods says it's it's it colors the mood bar depend uh, depending on how or how high or low it is and red is extreme and green is happy for example um, and it's just to make it more visual uh, you don't actually need it it's just a helpful mod to remind uh, and alert you who's high and who's low um, con uh, conduit deconstruct is just to make like power lines and stuff um, easier to remove. Predator hunt alert because I um, yeah I'm bound to not realize when an a an animal or a colonist is being attacked. So yeah. Also a quality of life thing which doesn't really change anything. Um, recipe icons, uh, it puts icons in uh, these uh, lists so you can easier see which one's which. And then we have cleaning priority because yeah I absolutely hate how the cleaning works in this game. Uh, and it's actually really important to make sure it's cleaned. But let's start a new colony. Now we have a few here. I'm not going to do a custom one. I'm not going to do a Steam Workshop one. I'm going to go with a standard crash landed uh, scenario. We are going to take Cassandra. She's the, I would say, the default one. She makes it periodically harder and harder. Um, then we have a uh, few uh, chillax, with, which gives basically a, a lot of time in between things. And Randy Random, which according to the names doesn't follow rules, so it's just random. Uh, difficulty was a while ago since I played. Uh, I'm not really the hardcore rough or savage player, but I think medium right now. Builder and peaceful uh, are, I would probably say, not that interesting for a YouTube series. So medium uh, is what I'm going for. I'm going to go with reload anytime because commitment mode, nope, not my style of playing. Maybe later, but not this one uh, at least. Uh, then we have the seed. Um, yeah, sure, let's go with landmine. As long as we don't step on it, there's no problem. Um, globe coverage is just how much of the planet we 
like how much surface area we have to choose from and global coverage you shouldn't do this like you shouldn't do 100% if your computer isn't up to this up to snuff actually not good enough um, if it's decent 50% if you have a good one like me 100% uh, is fine but I'm going to go with 30 because you don't need 100% uh, globe coverage so and the map would be so big you can't like it is just 30% is massive and by using the WASD you can move around and you can zoom in and zoom out and here we are going to select our starting site now there are biomes there are areas which are more difficult than others the desert yeah the it doesn't rain that much and it might be hard to get things growing boreal forest um while it rains and there's growing pe like a decent growing period it the winter gets quite cold so and if we go up to like here we have like it, it can go as uh, far down as fi minus 55 degrees celsius and yes i'm going to use celsius um in case you wonder um this game supports uh fahrenheit and celsius but i'm i'm one of those that lives in a country which uses celsius so we are going to stick with that now i'm not sure if i'm going to go with just the temperate forest or if i'm going to go with a boreal forest i don't want to do a desert one um or a tundra they they can be quite hard rainforest are not bad but you have to be careful uh, with rainforest because infections are much easier to get. You, it's much easier to get uh, infections, like wounds can get infected uh, easier in the rainforest. And you get sick more often and... So... Maybe... A a temperate having a lot of growth period would be nice if we go go down here we have year rounds we could just not have any winter but i think i really like like having winter i'm gonna have to like you have to um plan ahead a bit marble slate i'm looking at, at the stone types uh at this point uh to get because we do want granite we do want marble and then like whatever we get and granite limestone slate we do want marble though it can be quite hard to find a perfect spot sometimes we have granite there but We do have marble, limestone, and granite uh, right here. Um, uh, 
Now, I'm not sure if I'm too close to these. Because this is a town uh, with a, with a, who's belonging to a faction. This is one with a faction like and you can't put your settlement too close or they um, will hate you for it. Um, right this up there as well. I don't remember how close you have to be or what you have, how you see. It was quite a while since I played the game. We could just settle here. Right here would be a good place. We don't have any river, but... Let's see if we can find a river. Which is good enough because we could take this one. Actually, that would be fine. We are close to the road, so there shouldn't be any problems to be honest yeah there, there shouldn't be any problem to get access to the road from here and we do have large river it is flat terrain so there are no mountains and stuff but we have uh, sandstone marble and granite we have some of the best and uh, some of the best uh, building materials when it comes to stone. And it's a large river, which means we have a river to to use. Movement difficulty plus one, plus two in winter, but that's fine. We have a growing period of 40 days out of 60. Uh, it rains. Quite okay amount of rain actually. So I'm actually going to pick this one because it's. And we are going to increase the map size because. Yeah, a bit more space is always a good thing. Now, increasing the map size will have an impact on the performance of the game. Uh, depending on how uh, good your computer is and as it says here the AI will make stupid decisions uh, sometimes depending on how big it is because they have pathing issues and so on but we're going to pick this size because it the absolute biggest I'm not sure we want, uh, but we do want a bit bigger, so... And next. And then we need to choose... Who is going to be the three we have. Now... I don't want anything having like incapable of incapable of so i might do a bit of randomize depending on how these look uh, health if someone has an addiction i usually just leave them behind because mm, yeah i don't want anyone to be addicted uh, Depending on uh, how well you can manage um, 
the addiction. It might go fine, but probably it won't. Gizmo here. Is someone that's quite okay to take? He's not super good, but let's see. Lilith, you would be okay. Although you're volatile. Hmm. You're incapable of dumb labor. Dumb labor is probably one of the worst ones to be incapable of doing because that means they can't all and there's a bunch of stuff they can't do because they are incapable of dumb labor. <clears throat> Psychopath is not something I want <laughs> right off the bat. Like Gizmo is basically the only one which from the get-go is of any use. Let's put him on the top and then let's see if we can randomize a bit. Uh, no. 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 Uh, no. 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 This one could be a good Yeah, sure, we'll randomize Gizmo at this point. I'm usually quite picky when it comes to my first um, three. This one is actually... Yeah, he's a good craftsman and he's he, he can actually function as a medic and a researcher. He's crap at uh, shooting and stuff, but in cro and construction and cooking, he's really bad at basically everything else. But other than that, he doesn't have any health issues. He's 56 though, so he probably will have some issues later on, but right off the bat, he's he's good. He's good enough. Let's let's call it that. Good enough. Uh, we have a researcher. We have a social. Oh, though you have right shoulder scar and right arm. Uh, this is gonna cause. Issues. You know what? Let's randomize. I, I can't be bothered with having to fix. Oh, okay. Oh, he's not a, an adult. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna have to redo. And uh, you can have kids, um, like colonists which are younger than a certain age and then they are classified as kids which means they only get the childhood backstory and not the adulthood and I don't think they ever get the adulthood even if they in the game becomes old enough technically I'm not sure I haven't tested that probably should at some point there's so many who's injured or addicted or incapable of something uh, or both or everything. It's 
fine. Bad back. That's not a good thing. Um. You're a kid. I don't need a scientist. I already have one. So neck old uh Oh Having two people with like good medical is actually And he has crawler Yeah, but he doesn't have anything else. So I'm going to have to randomize again. There is a mod called uh, Prepare Carefully, which like remove the whole randomize thing. I'm going to go with this one. She has mining and uh, a bit of everything. She's not incapable, she's healthy. Sure, she's slothful and jealous, but whatever at this point. Uh, but yeah, there, there's a mod which removes the whole, you have to sit and randomize everything, you can design. But for this I'm not going to, because it can be really uh, cheaty, you can get exactly what you want, perfect, with exactly the passions you want for certain stuff. <clears throat> We need someone who's a good grower and cook at this point. Okay, you have double passion for cooking. But plants is a two. And you're a kid, so... Okay, cooking, but... Uh, plants... We need both cooking and plants at this point. And someone who's not incapable of anything and healthy and not 300 years, years old because, yeah. Having colonists which are too, like, too old is, can be a really bad thing. Uh, oh. This one is a... Oh, he's really good, but he can't fight. Like, he has cooking and plants. And animals and, like, all the stuff we would want. Hmm... <sighs> But can't fight. You know what? Let's do this. Let's um make this one myself. Oops. Let's do this then. And the short is TTG. And we keep the names. Um, this is a perfect game, really, if um, for renaming. I think you can rename once. Yeah, you can rename once you're in the game, so. Yeah, adding names from like comments or patrons and stuff, it's this is a really good game to do it uh, with because there's a lot of names to a um, lot of uh, like 
a lot of things which can be renamed, uh, such as colonists, and they do do a bunch of stuff. So, um, and the thing is, the people we l like left behind is people which um, will, as far as I know, be in the world and you can come across them later on. I'm going to randomize these a little bit. But other than that, yeah, let's... Uh, having like the left behind to be having uh, like addictions it's not something in case they join me later on i don't want something that has an addiction for something but i think that's that uh, this is a long prep video uh, we are up to 26 minutes but let's click start at this point and now it's generating the map and we are going to call this episode here because next episode will be the actual gameplay so with that i hope i see you in episode one this has been episode zero the setup for uh, this series so i will see you in episode one so thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one